I shall warm to the elect of the nation of Israel, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rocha Kudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and labor in this word and doctrine. So, as you can see from the title, we're going to break down the book of Isaiah, chapter 19. And this is a beautiful chapter, man. This is actually one of my favorite chapters, ever, literally in the whole Bible. And I've ever, or just in general, to break down, man. I just love this chapter. This is just chapter as well. You know, when you go to these uh, these so-called churches, this Christianity, whore temple, fucking places, they do not understand what's going on. Because Christianity, these bug outs, these so-called Christians, I don't even like calling them Christians anymore. But you know, that's what they call Christians. They have no idea what's going on in terms of prophecy. And this would make them think they've got the they've got all the Hebrew black Hebrew Israelites as you know that's the aha moment look what it says we're, we're going to show you but vocab let's, let's, let's go to verse 1 you want to read it Baba, Baba Isaiah chapter 19 and verse 1 mm -hmm. the burden of Egypt behold Yahweh rideth upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt and the idols of Egypt shall be moved to his presence and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it so first of all is this not talking about the literal geographical location was known as Egypt or Matazarium. He's talking about spiritual Egypt because Egypt is synonymous with the house of bondage, okay? And we know that there's places in the Bible that are spiritually called Egypt. So for example, Revelation is, 11 and 8, I'll go this first, I'll get it quickly. And the dead body shall lie in the street of the great city. And in context, it's talking about Babylon the Great. And it says, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Where also our Lord was crucified. So spiritually, this place is called Egypt. Okay, you want to read it? That was it. That was the precept. All right, Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again right. with ships. Uh -huh. By the way, wherever I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. And no man shall buy you. Right, that's, I mean, it is likely. It is likely. <laughs> it is likely. <laughs> it's lucky. It's a joke, but it's. It's likely that's like the, one of the first, if not the very first thing you learn. And it's, it's that, the, that the, we're going to go into Egypt, the house of bondage, by way of ships. This is Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. I am Yahweh thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, mm -hmm. out of the house of bondage. Right, so you see, Egypt simply means bondage. And America is that land of, that's known as Babylon the Great, spiritual Sodom, and spiritual Assyria. Egypt. Right, Assyria. It's all, it's all, it's, 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 you know what I'm saying? Asura. Nineveh. It is that place, man. It's the place of, of our captivity. It's the place where everyone is, is looking up to as that glorious kingdom as well. That's why it's known as Babylon the Great, the whore, the harlot, which all nations it's, have drunk the wine of. Go yes, ahead, sir. This is Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 14 and 15. And it reads, Therefore, behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, that it shall no more be said, Yahweh liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Mm -hmm which is the literal Egypt. So it's not going to be said anymore mm -hmm. that this is the greatest deliverance of the children of Israel. Verse 15. But Yahweh liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands whither he had driven them and I'll bring them again into their land that I gave to their fathers. Yeah. So um, as, it, as it reads, man, in the scriptures, you know, we're going to have that second deliverance and it's not going to be like in the land of Egypt. Okay, it's going to be a spiritual Egypt, a spiritual house of bondage, the place of our captivity we're going to be delivered from. And again, you know, it says as it, it comes into the swift cloud, as it reads in the scripture, this is Psalm um, 104, yeah. and verse 3, Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariots, who walketh upon the wings of the wind. So Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, he maketh the clouds his chariot, because, you know, the, the chariots of the, the heavenly chariots, so-called UFOs, which we know are the, the, the chariots of the angels, they are World actually, winds. um yes, they, they're like unto a whirlwind. Like, uh, uh, they, that's their, um, what's the word? You know, like a meta metaphor, man. It's, it's a symbology. It's like unto a, a cloud that that's moved swiftly in the air, man. And, then, and, that, and it's just like in Egypt. Just like in the Egypt, when we was there, there were clouds that were leading us. Yep. Those were actual, yep. those were actually chariots. But they didn't, they didn't, they didn't call it. it they, they called it in that manner as a cloud. Because remember, they didn't really look up in the sky and always see seven four sevens fly around. You know what I'm saying? They didn't have that stuff. That would be confounding back then, <laughs> right? To see, to It'd see, like what? But certain did. You know, certain prophets had visions of this time, and they actually saw everything. Can't, can't but this is um, this is First Corinthians ten, <laughs> proving these Corinthians are Israelites. 1 Corinthians 10, and what, not to prove that point, but it goes into the same thing. Right. 1 Corinthians 10, verse 1 and 2, or 1 and down. Moreover, brethren, I would not that you should be ignorant 
how that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea and did all eat the same spiritual meat and did all drink the same spiritual drink for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them and that rock was Hamashiach or was Christ to put it in verbatim England <laughs> and, you, and again you know England. so that, that proves that, that we're um that sorry that the Corinthians were Israelites and of course yep. it brings that same mention of the same thing and again uh, another scripture uh I because believe. real quick, that's yeah. that's why it says that it shall no more be said that this is the, this is Yahweh that delivered them from Egypt because that has is got great renown. You can see how many times in the scripture that it's, it's made reference back to. Do you remember when we were in Egypt? And even Paul in this quote unquote New Testament is still making references back to our fathers, the Israelites, in literal spiritual sorry literal physical Egypt. Mm -hmm. All right, so it takes it takes high precedence. So imagine how much greater this this deliverance will be because it's gonna it's gonna trump that. I did, that will be the new Passover. Mm -hmm. and what's um? Just, uh, yeah, go on. Forgive me. I just want to remember because I'm glad you even interrupted me because I believe it's in Psalm 68, right, where it talks about the the clouds again. Another uh, precept for referring to the chariot. 68, 11. Let me check. No, 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 it's not that. Oh, Slachia. This is a uh, this is Psalm 68, verse 13. Um. So you have lying among the pots, yet shall you be as the wings of the dove. So lucky you know, that one. Damn. All right. I got one. Oh, wait, hold up. I found a really 17. The chariots of the most high, 20,000, even thousands yeah, of yeah, angels. Yeah, 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 of course. among them as in Sinai and the holy place. And so again, can read that those again. chariots. Read Verse 17. The chariots of, of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them as in Sinai and the holy place. And again, you know, the, the angels are the ones that also operate these chariots. Yep. Okay. They're gonna they're, they're gonna deliver the elect man. They're gonna be beamed up just like in uh fucking Star Trek. Not as if I watched it, but I know I've heard that beam me up, Scotty. He watches it, you can tell he watches it. <laughs> Alright, Ezekiel chapter one and verse seven, and this is referring to the angels, you know, you can get into all of it. We won't, but you could you could. You know, it's likely you could. Ezekiel one and seven, and their feet were straight feet, and the sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's foot, and they sparkled like the colour of burnished brass. Vocab. Mm -hmm. Right, the next verse. And they had the hands of a man under their wings on their four sides, mm -hmm. and they they four had their faces and their wings. And why did they have hands of a man under their wings? Because they're controlling the chariot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, that's, and that's what's coming to coming to America. Coming to a Babylon near you. That's right. And so, you know, when, um, when that, when it's, as it reads in Isaiah 19, when that destruction happens, man, the heart of them is going to melt. Their minds are going to be shattered, man. They're going to be like, what the hell? Because the, the destruction that the Most High is going to bring, it's not going to be like a light thing. It's not going to be like a, a little bit of like fire here, a little bit of like death here, a little bit of like slaps Sprink on the wrist. Sprinkling of death on, over man. here. It's going to be fucking bloodshed, man. It's going to be absolutely horrendous what's happening to, 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 as a judgment, as deserved, man. Okay, because that place is full of wickedness. If you don't see it, it's probably because you're part of it. It's probably because it's quite likely you're gonna be, you're gonna get judgment. They're gonna get. It is likely. It is likely. Right. I've got Luke 21 and verse 26. Men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And even that, that's in the, that's in the run-up. You know, that's in the um, how would you say, the preliminary. Is that an accurate use of that word? Whether or not you know, it's in the run-up to the to the return of Yahweh Shai to deliver his elect and to bring destruction unto the wicked. You know, it's a twofold thing. Mm -hmm. So I get Isaiah 19 and 1 again. It says, The burden of Egypt, behold, Yahweh rideth upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt, and the idols of Egypt shall be moved it's at his like presence. And the idols of Egypt, right? So the mm -hmm. idols, essentially, Psalm 96 and 5 of Akusha, because yeah. all these, all these God things, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Every and last the, one and of them. Angels, the council. Every last one of them. <laughs> every last one of them. Qurans. Every last one of them. Uh, the season board Gia statues you got. Yep. All these Hinduism, Buddhism. All this stuff. They are nothing but idols, man. If they isn't this, if they ain't dealing with the Lord that we serve, man. Okay. And of course, we're, we're gonna stand on the, the elders and apostles of GMS, the, the doctrine that's been prescribed uh, through them, to, to the Lord, obviously, to them. Of course, then if they're going off, they could still be of a sincere elect. But nevertheless, man. Hey man, if you're going off, if especially if you're saying different names, Yahuwah, Yahusha, okay, you know, I don't even want to mention your name, you know, that's for e. name that. 
<laughs> nah, he's, he's probably a, he's probably a jerk still. I'm saying the, I'm saying I think he is. To be yeah, honest. but the point was <laughs> you pushed the black 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 so much. <laughs> now how ironic! And now, you know these are all idols, man. All got read it, Babaku Show. Yeah, yeah, I love that guy. I, I have a, I have a um, what do you call it? What do you call it? Do you have a love hate ratio? No, because I, I don't I don't hate him. It's just um, I can't think of the I can't think of the term, man. I have no other term. I'll find the term, Lord willing. <laughs> all right. Psalm 96 and 5, for all the gods of the nations are idols, but Yahweh made the heavens. Yeah, man. Uh, all, the, all, the other, all these other gods are not so. You know, they're not really gods, but they're gods like that unto are no gods. gods. Right. That's what I was trying to say. I don't even know how to word it. The gods that are no gods. And the, the most sides can destroy these fucking idols, man. And, and guess what? Your, 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 your celebrities, so called, that you, whose ass you kissed, all those people that you worship as, as your idols, the ones who have got you to take the Karaks, Karagma. Eventually, of the course, M to the A to the R to the K. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 exactly what's gonna happen to them too. They they're gonna be destroyed, and you're gonna be shook when you see them destroyed because because their lives are so great. When they when they when they uh, what's the word? When they are a contrite spirit yeah, for for, for, being, for being a uh, for getting judgment from the Lord, you're gonna be in contrite spirit because they're the ones you look up to. You're gonna be just like them. You know what it's I'm saying? Like, it's like when you're like when you're a young, you know, a young boy, maybe eight or something, and you see, yeah. for example, your father may cry. Yeah. You see your mother cry or something right. like that, so it's like they're the they're the rock, Amen. not like not in that sense, but in in terms of your perception, in terms of humans in the flesh that you can see that you're around, they're the people that keep you up, and when you see them start to deplete, it, it's going to weigh on your spirit. So the same way that if, if you're putting them on that level, as you should honor your parents, you're putting honor unduly upon people, God. then when they begin to crumble, it's going to have a negative impact Absolutely. on yourself. Can't, can't. And the you only way to... Sorry, yeah, go ahead. Ahead. No, go ahead, I was going to say, the only way to remedy that is to have trust in the Lord. Now, that's that's the only way. That's the ultimate, the only way, you know, for, for any of this to really yeah, fall on the right side, man. Yep. But, you know, I was gonna, it reminds me of, it reminds me of buck breaking, man. When mm. they would take the biggest, strongest brother out there, mm. you know, like, think about, in this world, we think about the big, strong Jake and how, like, he's kind of scary, man. You don't want to... You know, no matter how much training you do, you kind of think this guy's going to give me a run for money, even if he's never trained a day in his life. Mm -hmm. They would take that guy, man, and they would rape him, man. They would, these fucking Edomites would rape him in front of everybody so they would get it in their heads. They'd get that fear, man. And you see, and that's part of the, that's, the, that's another reason why they're going to get the judgment, man. Double, man. Double, man. They're going to get double what they fucking did. You know what? They, the, the, the list they've got, man. You know those cartoons when they've got like a list and it's like, just keep rolling? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's their list, man. That's the list, and, and they're going to get double that. How I don't know how they're going to make the first minute, <laughs> these damn devils, man. But I got this scripture just to go before you read that. There's Exodus 12 and 12. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night. And this is talking mm. about, back then, the actual land of Egypt. Oh, and I will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast. And against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am Yahweh. See, Yahweh, he's saying it straight. He is Yahweh. He's going to execute judgment, man. And just like how we did it in the gods back then, he's going to do it right now, man. So it goes for Thoth, right? Set Amun fucking Ra. Yeah, man. <laughs> See, that's, that's one thing. Ra. That patience, the patience Hebrew E has. That's 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 impressive, man. Because if <laughs> that was impressive, yeah, I've always said that. I've always said that since we said that. We both said that, man. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't know what the, I. I'll be honest. I look back. I'm like, I don't know what I do. I think you're thinking that. What the fuck would I want to yeah, do if he was there? I don't think I lose. I lose my shit, man. But go ahead, brother. So it's Jeremiah <laughs> two and eleven. It said, "Hath a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods? But my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit." Mm -hmm. And you see, the things that don't profit is anything. All right, remember the glory of Yahweh was then they, they turn away from that for things of no profit. And anything that isn't of the glory of Yahweh is it really of no profit. You, of course, you can find profit in things that you enjoy. I think for the mo I think if you watch enough of our videos, you hear us almost always talk about fighting, training, and stuff. That stuff that profits, man. It, it, it feels good. It, it strengthens your spirit, but not without the Lord. It's just it's just gonna you're gonna find yourself trying to be Brock Lesnar, right? Bodily exercise, profit of little. <laughs> little, little bit of profit, but ultimately it's all about the Lord. And, yeah, and you goodness. know what it is, man? If you worship all these other these other gods, there is literally no profit in that. You might get some worldly shit that you consider profit, but that shit's going to go away. And especially with, we know, with um, with uh, things collapsing in terms of currency and trying to be smart here. I don't know if the, that, the, that, that the, the, the woman me. dates, the man dates. Yeah, there you go. All that stuff when that comes around, all that shit is gonna is gonna fly out the window faster than a motherfucker, man. And then and they're uh, pretty fast, man. <laughs> Isaiah right. thirteen and six, right? How ye for the day of Yahweh is at hand? 
It, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. And remember, everything we read, we're not we're not gonna go out there and get guns, especially because we live in this this place. We can't get guns. We're, we're not, not going out get there guns. and getting shit. We're not we're doing going shit. out there and getting the Bible. Right. That's right. Because that'll be used. Oh well, they said they they would if they could. They would if they could. <laughs> you know. No nah, man. No. <laughs> I don't want to like this. This I don't need that because I because essentially, man, the Lord is the one looking at it. that's. He I said it, I said it's our weapon, but that's, I don't even want to say it like that just in case you try to get on. And me. the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but spiritual. I we no nothing we can do can stop Esau and his blessing, man. Nothing it's his blessing. We need the Lord. Nothing carnally we can do, I should say, is going to stop him. The Lord's going to give. He's going to uh, is going to set a standard in that day. And look at this, we're only on the first on the verse. On the we're only on the first verse, man. Anyway, Isaiah 13 and verse 7. Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. That's why, because the Lord's judgment is the Lord's Men's judgment, man. Men's hearts failing them for fear. Can't. And that's, that's before that, man. Absolutely, man. And check this. It I says, keep saying um, man too much, man. It says, and they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrow shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. They're gonna, that, that feeling that women get, when they're about to give birth, that pain, that those contractions, that that's some. Of, I mean, if you ever see it, they're like, it's it's like it's quite rough, man. All right, that's how they're gonna be like. That's what it's gonna be. That's some of the, they, these people ain't preparing for, man. And as it reads again, it's in. Uh, it says, uh, "They shall be amazed one at another; their faces shall be as flames." Behold, the day of Yahweh cometh, cruel both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. That's what's coming, man. The Lord Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai is coming to destroy the sinners, and that's why they're gonna melt because they're gonna when, they, when that time comes, they're not <laughs> they're gonna know what's happening, all right? They know it's judgment time. They know it's it's time for fire, bloodshed, all types, man. You got any scriptures? Is it se is Second Peter in it? Yeah, Second Peter three. All right, Second Peter three. Where are the page? Hey, when that happens, you know, if you ever take it out in the rain, or sort of crinkles together. Mm. Anyway, Second Peter two, no, Second Arabic numerals, Second Peter three, verse. Let's start. Let's start seven. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Mm. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. That one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and God. a thousand years as one day. Right. The Lord Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, right. not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Verse 10 But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Mm -hmm. Verse 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, right. looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai? So stop right there, Bakusha. Hasting the day we're supposed to want this place to be through. We're supposed to want the Lord to come back. You know, we're supposed to not be a wait time. 50 years. No, no, you know, we're not supposed to be like our because, of course, remember, um, if I, you know, what's, you know, what's, you know, what's beautiful. That's the spirit, because when I was reading that in Isaiah 13, guess that I was thinking of that scripture yep, yep, and Amos. Yep, 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 so that's beautiful. Yep. That's the spirit, man. Because people will be like, what about where it says in Amos? Um, oh, yeah, yeah. What is um, it? 5 or 18? I, think, I, I believe it was 5. I just didn't know where. I don't know how Try 5 or 18. It. Well, the Lord took it out of my mind, because there's so many things I need to get in my mind these last days, man. And you can't, you know, you can't deny there's a lot of distractions out here. And you find yourself. I found myself distracted today. Um, it's lucky. Amos. Salaki, Salaki. I wish you brought it out, man. These Roman ones are getting to me. This is not Arabic ones, man. I think I got it. It's okay. Amos 5 and 18. What well, unto you that desire the day of Yahweh? So, of course, brothers are going to say, because I remember it says the day of Yahweh in Isaiah chapter 13. It was talking about the destruction that comes in the day of Yahweh. But we, we desire that because we know that's the deliverance for the elect and we have faith with the elect. We don't think we're just in this for no reason. We have faith. We believe that this is. For us to um, be redeemed. It clarifies if you read 19 and 20. Isaiah chapter 19. No, 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 no. Uh, Amos 5. Oh, okay. I'll start, verse sorry, 19. Sorry, my sorry, fault. Sorry. No, okay. it's okay. Uh, Amos chapter 5, and verse 19. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of Yahweh be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it? 
and is it 20 as well? Yep. I think it's Isaiah chapter 5, and then we need to crack on That's in this still. Yeah, of course. No, we're, it's, it's both. We're, it's still both. On, we're still on Isaiah chapter 19 verse 1. Man. Yeah, we need to speed that. Alright, Isaiah chapter 5, verse 18 through 20. I know, 18 through 19. Woe unto them that draw iniquity with cords of vanity, and sin, as it were, with a cart rope, that say, Let him make speed, and hasten his work, that we may see it. Let the counsel of the Holy One of Yahshua draw nigh, and come, that we may know it. But, you know, obviously, so that's talking about people that are deep in sin, say, Oh, I can't wait. You know, pork chop munch, Oh, I can't, I can't wait. But, the same point, Romans 10 says, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to Yahweh is for Israel that they might be saved, paraphrasing. That's, That's right. a pretty good paraphrase of it, though. It's very similar to that. Okay. So what was Paul desiring? Now he's desiring the physical deliverance of the nation of Israel. That's right. Because he had faith and he wasn't sinning, right. as it were, with a cart rope. Right. Now let's... It's part of the day of the Lord as well, you know. Deliverance, destruction, it's all part of the day of Yahweh. Yep. It's, it's all expedient. It's all necessary for prophecy's sake, man. Just, just like it's going to be a deliverance for some, a destruction for the other, it'll be dark for some, and it'll be light, great light, and joy, and rejoicing. Now what are we... What are we waiting for for deliverance if we understand that it's the same day of destruction? Because we, we, we're hoping not to get caught up in it, or rather yeah, get caught up in a cloud. Yeah, man. Right, Isaiah 19 and 2. And I'll set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight every one against his brother, and every one against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. Perfect. And that's beautiful right there to show you that, you know, when things are, things are heating up right now, that's, that's, that's things that are eventually going to stir up to this prophecy again, you know. Or, you know, furthermore, being fulfilled is what I'm trying to say. Because right now, you know, people are people are against each other. But there's going to be a time when people are really against each other, man. Again, the Egyptians against the Egyptians. People of the land of spiritual Egypt. Those that are accustomed to the, the land of Egypt. They're going to go against each other. The Babylonians okay. against the Babylonians. That's right. And then it says the people, the neighbors against the neighbors, man. They're going to come against against each other. All right? And then, uh, of course, I'll get the ones in the, the pocket first. So called, yeah, but back to show. Oh, yeah, 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 second Ezra's 15 or and 16. I'll, get, I'll start with this second Ezra's. Oh, you got it, yeah, yeah. second Ezra's chapter 6 and verse 24. All right, this is Matthew, Saint Matthew, chapter 12, and verse 25 or 25, depending on how you're feeling. All right, Matthew 12 and 25, it says. And Yahweh knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, <laughs> yeah, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan cast out Satan, right. he is divided against himself, uh -huh. himself, how shall then his kingdom stand? A good See, question. The, the kingdom can't be, they can't stand if they divide amongst each other. That's why this whole thing about integration is a complete joke. You've got one person saying you can't be down with the alphabet community. You've got one person saying you can't eat pork chops you got one people saying you're supposed to keep the shabbat holy now obviously that's a bit random but let's just say you know let's well, it is, a better it is, example it's it random that's fine for, <laughs> yeah. that's the point obviously because like those things seem to be all involved in the truth but let's just ignore everything else that, that these random individuals believe in this example that these three have these differential doctrines how can they be together at, how, at peace they, they don't they don't want that they're going to be vexed I just like how we're vexed. We're vexed that we the see the wicked conversation today. of the wicked. Come on, man. We're, we're obviously, vexed. No, go on, go on, go on. No, you don't go away, go ahead, bro. I was going to say, obviously, you live peaceably, but that doesn't mean Come that on. you don't still you know, hold your values. Right. We, don't go, we live peaceably in a manner where we're not doing anything carnal to go against it. We're waiting for the Lord. The, Lord's going, the Lord hates this stuff more than we can try. The That's Lord, why he says he, was, he should do according to his anger. <laughs> right, right, exactly. Well, see, again, that's the spirit, man. His anger. It's, it's his fury. The fury of the Almighty, man. Anyway, let's read this real quick. And this ties in again, you know, 2 Ezra 6 and 24. At that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies. So people turn against each other. How can it stand? And again, you know, Satan trying to cast out Satan. <laughs> That's, what the hell? It reminds me of when I was watching that, that fight, man. And you're watching two Edomites fight. It's, such a, it's, just, it's just like, this is perfect. <laughs> Every time you see it happen, it's perfect. Satan trying to cast out Satan, man. And it reads, um... I read again, at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies, and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountain shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. You see, because in these, in these times, all types of man of wickedness is going to happen, and it's going to cause people to go against each other, okay? And that, of course, there's, there's things like such as the famine, okay? The, the water and food shortage, and of course, the famine of the word. 
Of course, it's also going to be things pertaining to the, the pestilence, all right? You know, it's you and whoever. This this type of stuff <laughs> is it's going to be like that, man. Go ahead. That was nice. All right, Isaiah, the next verse, yeah? yeah? Yep. Isaiah 19 and 3. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I'll destroy the counsel thereof, and they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers, and to them that have familiar spirits and to the wizards. So they're gonna try go down. They're gonna try go down to people who 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 practice witchcraft and sorcery and whatnot, man. Pharmakia. Yeah, man. You know, cause that that's. I mean, essentially, that's all. Whatever Esau's got going down, that's that's part of the witchcraft. If they trust in, if you're trusting in Esau Eden, you're you're falling for the multitude of their sorceries, their pharmakia. Okay. You you're you're in the you're in a serious okie doke, man. If you really believe what Esau says. You know, and I haven't even put on video yet, but I got a testimony of my uncles. These fucking bug outs want to get on me. These, these absolute coons, these raccoons. They always want to come at me about you know the haraks, man. And I, I don't want to take it. And it, apparently, it means I might have to get kicked out. So be it, man. You know, this is the type of attitude we gotta have. I don't really care if, if I got, if even if it means the Lord says, you know, I have to be out there and just suffer in this truth, starve and die, and then. Let's say I'm the elect. It, it, it's all about the Lord's will. That's how we got to think about it, man. And you know, this all this stuff that's happening is going to make them... Because imagine, look, people are divided against each other, right? So I want to get this real quick because I do want to get it. Second verse 15 and um, verse 14. I believe, yeah. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. You see that? Mm -hmm. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. It says, For the sword and the destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So you're not going to have to call 911. What's your emergency? You ain't going to be able to do that shit Especially no more. Especially in the UK, because that's not even the code. <laughs> you're, not gonna be called, <laughs> you're not going to be able to call 999 911 111. Your friendly neighborhood oh, centurion. <laughs> oh, there you, go. <laughs> you ain't going to be able to do shit like that, man. It ain't going to be like that. What was I say? What? Did you see that thing pop up? No. Well, it doesn't matter because the video's still going. No, it's not like that. But no, no, no. Can't allow it. Just keep going. It is, as long as it's still going. Anyway. Yeah, it is. So so, yeah go, go, go. Saki, brother. Again, so it says that they're not going to regard the princes or kings. They're not going to care what, what, what you know, Bojo has to say. Or what um, uh, JB. Just Not Bieber. Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they're not going to care. They're just going to do whatever the hell they want to do. You got any scriptures? So, Psalm 5 and 10. Destroy thou them, O power. Let them fall by their own counsels. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions, for they have rebelled against thee. And that's exactly what, that's, in the end of the day, man, that's what had to happen, you know. This, this stuff has to happen, man. It's, it's part of prophecy, the most high, set vessels to have to just keep going with the flow. And he had certain vessels where he said, no, I'm going to separate you. And it's a blessing that we're here to this day. Lord willing, we're here to the very end, man, because I don't want to. I don't want to be. I, I'm looking at this. I'm looking at these people living in front of me. Looking at these people in the world in general. Just looking at this place. I don't want to be like this place, of this place, of these them, of this, of this, of the customs, or just like these people. And if that's the spirit, then Lord willing, that means we are we are actually the elect. We're predestined to that spot, man. Other one right as well, of course, because we don't know. But this is uh, Second Ezra, chapter sixteen, and uh, verse eighteen. And it reads, the beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the powers shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? And the answer is to is to trust in Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. But what are they going to do with the world? Go straight to the sorceries, man. Just like they've done right now. When everything's all, all this shit's happening, what they've done? They trust in that Harax. They don't just trust in it, man. They they bow down to that shit. That's, it, it's it. already essentially like an idol, man. And then the Haragma is going to be that idol, man. Essentially, it's going, last that's what it is, man. These idols are going to fail, though. And it reads, it says, um, it says, uh, Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment, but for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. So they're going to get that judgment either way, man, if, if they're of the world, if they're doing the things that Esau Eden is pushing out, man. Because they these, these, scour these scourges are sent out for, essentially, for the elect to see. Hey, look. Oh, it's beautiful, man. We're, li we're living closer to to the times, man. It's purifying us, essentially. But go ahead, brother. You can go is, next verse if yeah, you want. Yeah. Yeah. Isaiah 19 and 4. And the Egyptians will I give into the hand of a cruel lord, mm -hmm. and a fierce king shall rule over them, saith the Lord, Yahweh of hosts. Mm. And I've got a note there. I don't know if that's... Check that with Bakusha. It's a wrap. Okay. Okay. Okay.
The wishes of the Apocrypha. Ecclesiasticus, chapter 35, and 18 and 18. Uh, come verse 18. For the Lord will not be slack, neither will the mighty be patient towards them, till he hath smitten in sunder the loins of the unmerciful, and repaid vengeance to the heathen. So they have taken away the multitude of the proud, and broken the scepter of the unrighteous. And the scepter, rep the staff represents the rulership. Yeah. Okay. Nothing crazy like that demon used to say. Like it says, the scepter shall not depart from Judah. That's right. The rulership death. Till he have rendered to every man according to his deeds, and to the works of men according to their devices, till he have judged the cause of his people. Look at that, look at that, look at that. And make... So lucky. So what's he called? Little Nas X. Yeah, on a bus. Demon. Sorry, sorry. The... No worries. The till he have rendered to every I man according to his deeds. That's the whole point of the vexation of this place, man. Yeah, man. They put that Why face on a bus. Dotty. That travels everywhere so everybody can yeah, see it. little utes and everything. Oh, man. And to, to the works of men according to their devices, till he have judged the cause of his people and made them to rejoice in his mercy. And see, uh, real quick, brother. Uh, I'll, I'll finish this first. See, again, the spirit's moving, man. Mercy is seasonable in a time of affliction as clouds of rain in a time of drought. Mercies, man. That's what we, that's essentially what we, that's the beautiful. So let's read that again. Mercies is seasonable in a time of affliction, right? As clouds of rain in the time of drought, because we're gonna be, there's gonna be time we're gonna be tried, but the Most High is gonna have mercy on us. Not gonna, have, he's not gonna give us judgments like these people. There's gonna be time when mm -hmm. things are gonna be around us. Other one writes of course. Uh, you know, we have we have faith in that matter. We believe that by because we, you know, we we believe we're men of the Lord. And then, of course, we're still gonna have times when our faith is tried. But you know, we we have faith nevertheless. But the reason why the reason why it's beautiful is I was even speaking to a brother today. About the Lil Nas X About him doing that stage performance And what was the stage doing? He was It was all set up as Egypt With pyramids And doing all types of weird Fruity stuff And you know At the very end He grabs a, a dude fucking raw. He grabs a dude And he starts making out with a dude On the right side and the left side And it's just the funny This is the, the, the funniest part I, I showed it to my cousin one time And my cousin was like Hey isn't, isn't that rape? And I was like That's a good point If I was abroad They have so much to say Because it was those alphabet community they didn't have much to say, man. But anyway, go ahead, brother. <laughs> right, Psalm 136 and 1. Well, give thanks unto Yahweh, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Okay. His mercy endureth forever for, for the nation of Israel, man. But as well, of course, his, the mercies don't stand with every Israelite on this side. But eventually, all Israelites are going to be in the kingdom, man. Show sure, mercies of David. Come on, man. This is uh, Psalm to the 5 verse 10. Destroy thou them, O Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Let them fall by their own counsels. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions, for they have rebelled against thee. And, and ultimately, so five, those, five. Yep. And ultimately, that's you know that's that's exactly um that's exactly what our people have done. And we're we're those that have rebelled against the Lord, and our people continue to do it to this day. Right. Going scripts. No, I mean, let's hit the next verse. Right, Isaiah 19 and 5, And the water shall fail from the sea, and the river shall be wasted and dried up. Mm -hmm. Next that, verse. Verse 5. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it could go, could go. Verse 6. And they shall turn the rivers far away, and the brooks of defense shall be emptied and dried up. The reeds and flags shall wither. Mm -hmm. God. And, that, and uh, the scriptures I got for that, um, 2nd Edges 15 and 11, I'll get that. And can you bring me, Babakusha, Ecclesiastes... If I don't bring that, but can you read Revelation 16 and 4? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, 2nd Exodus 15 and 11, 2nd seven, seven Exodus 15 in general, sorry, is a, is a great chapter for things that actually go into Isaiah 19, which makes it beautiful, which also is a, a great way to show you that the precepts in this book lines up perfectly with the Bible, man, in prophecy, you know? You got a precept in your Bible. 2nd Exodus 15 and 11, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. I was talking about spiritual Egypt. Plagues is before because they're going to get those plagues. And again, it's because I was going to get Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. Perhaps you should get it realistically. Because uh, essentially, the, the Lord, he's doing, he's doing what he did before. It's like he destroyed the idols in Egypt before. Delivered us from Egypt before. It's spiritual Egypt. He's taking us out of there, destroying the idols, man. Bring it up. All right. Ecclesiastes, or the preacher, chapter 1, verse 9. The thing that has been is that which shall be. Mm -hmm. And that which is done is that which shall be done. And there's no new thing under the sun. Mm -hmm. So again, you know, the same. It's, it's all it's all coming back again, you know. And Egypt again, again with ships. Did you read that? Have you just read that Smite Egypt as before? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. 
and it reads, but I'll read again, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy the land thereof. So Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that the Most High shall bring upon it. And again, you know, these scriptures, when it, especially when it goes into uh, the, t the the brooks, the wither, everything's going to wither. That also goes into things pertaining to the famine, man. It goes into the land not being fruitful, being dried up. And that's going to cause problems and fear. Because they don't keep a land summer. There's so much simple stuff. They, you know, but ultimately, that's how it's set up. That's how it's set up. That's yeah. how the Lord wants it. <laughs> so they can, so he can destroy it. He's raised it up to destroy it, man. And that's What's that, Romans 9 and 19? 9 and 17, I believe. 9 and 17. And uh, I'll bring a few scriptures out on this Revelation topic Revelation 16 and 4, and this is concerning the seven vials. Mm -hmm. Right, Revelation 16 and 4, And the third angel poured out his vial upon the rivers and, and fountains of waters, and they became blood. Mm -hmm. And again, um, these, these are things, these are plagues that are happening, that have happened, I should say, in Egypt, and these are plagues that are supposed to come. You know, the, 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 the Most High, he's really going to, he's going to give Egypt a serious judgment. That's what Isaiah 19 is all about. The serious judgment that uh, Egypt has to get, has not a choice. <laughs> double. Again, double, man. They're going to get double. <laughs> and really, essentially, you, you, you could argue that when the missiles hit, that's like the beginning, because they they've still got to go into captivity for a thousand years before they get burned up. <laughs> so that's the beginning of the, the downfall of this kingdom that, that was so glorious, that made everyone so scared. This nation that made everyone so scared. But this is Isaiah, I believe it's Isaiah 58 and 11. And, uh, and of whom hast thou been afraid or feared, that thou hast lied and hast not remembered me, nor laid it to thy heart? Have not I held my peace even of old? And thou fearest me not. You see, the Lord right now, He's look, He's looking out for those that fear Him, man. Not for those that ain't, they ain't down with Him, man. And the Most High is gonna make sure that people do fear Him. That's our judgment. Come, just need to stretch my leg out. No, bro, dirty flesh. Yeah, bro. I'm ready for the next? Yeah, bro. Okay. So this is Isaiah 19 and verse seven. The paper reads by the brooks, by the mouth of the brooks, and everything sown by the brooks shall wither, be driven away, and be no more. And you can get that in um, Second Ezra 15, about because of lack of bread. I think it's 15. When people go against yeah, each other, they fight each other because of the dearth or the lack of bread. Yep, yep. Second Ezra, chapter 15, and I want to say. Um, might be 16, you know. Somewhere here, second 15 and 16 is so similar. I always like, kind of forget, man. Uh, Hold on. I don't know what to do. I feel like I'm like determined to look for it, though. But so be, I'll just look it up. Lack of bread, I know that's the, that's the key word. All right, Second Ezra 15 and 19. Yeah, that's right. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 19. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. In fact, you know what you should do? Just because I went to verse 16 earlier, let's start score 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. What is that talking about? Uh, it says, uh, downs. <laughs> okay. Verse 18. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. And the pride, man, the boastfulness, man, of these people, especially Esau, says... Uh, the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. And they were, the ones that didn't, they, they, that thought they were mighty strong, they didn't give a shit, but none, they can do what they want. Yeah, man, they're going to be seriously afraid in these times, man. As it reads, it says, A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and shall spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Because famines are coming, there's piles of scourges, and when that happens, people will lose their mind. You know, like, um, um, like I was watching that movie the other day, which I didn't really like. The oh, movie yeah. Us, right? I didn't really like it that much, but I know it's one thing that kind of made me chuckle. I don't know why I keep laughing at these things. It's, it's funny because it's perfect, basically, man. When I was, when I saw them, those clone things, I'm rooting for you, but their clone things were going wild and trying to kill them. It, it kind of looked like they were trying to eat them, you know what I'm saying? When people are starving... 70 AD? <laughs> when people are starving... They're gonna really, they're gonna be like that, man. They're gonna lose their mind. They're gonna be grabbing people up, trying to grab people's children to eat them, trying to chop the, chop the limbs off and stuff, and then get some food. It'll be crazy, man. You know, they're gonna be absolutely out of their mind type 
type hungry. That's some of you, you don't, we, we, because of the pride of this world. You saw how, how deep people go over toilet roll. Man, yeah, man. Of these ox, yeah, these man. oxo cubes. <laughs> no, people were going all over the place. People were, people, you know, people fight on Black Friday for, for TVs. Black. And they, they, they have a fucking TV already. Probably, probably more than one. Some, some of the, most of these people, anyway, they even might tend to have a lot of TVs in the house. One for each room, you know? They're, they're fighting for TVs and shit. Come on, man. And it reads, um, Behold, saith Yahweh, I will call to, uh, together all the kings of the earth to reverence me, which are from the rising of the sun, from the south, from the east, and Le Lebanus, which is Lebanon, I believe, to turn themselves one against another and repay the things that they have done to them. You see, and again, eventually all the world is going to know Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai is the true power, man. Keep, uh, you want to keep reading, brother? Isaiah 19 and verse 16. The fishers also shall mourn, and all they that cast angle into the brooks shall lament, and they that spread nets upon the waters shall languish. And you see, <laughs> right now I'm going to go second verses again, <laughs> because this book has a lot of prophecy, man. Okay, there's a lot of people that ain't down with second verses. I was one of those idiots. Second verses five, <laughs> and verse twelve. This is uh, at the same time shall men hope, but nothing obtain. They shall labor, but their ways shall not prosper. All right, so they're not going to be able to get all this. The, the fishes ain't going to be able to get their fish no more. They ain't going to again. The, the land's not going to be fruitful in those days. Famines are coming. Gonna the angels barren. are going to come out here and, and start plaguing places out. The, make, the land's not even going to. It's going to be what, what's going on. The people, sorry, people tell the land going to be like you know where, where's all the whatever they grow, maize and stuff in Egypt. Okay, they, they they're going to struggle, and it reads. And lots of people are going to lose work because they, their labels, the things that they, their wisdom that they've put into that they thought they were going to do for at least 30 years before they retire and go chill in Florida. Their plans they had just basically got messed up. And it reads, um, I lost my place. Was it? Verse 13, to, sh to show thee such tokens I have, I, I have leave. Um, and if thou will pray again and weep as now and fast seven days, thou shalt hear yet greater things. And I believe that's all I actually wanted. But, uh, but nevertheless, just the, the point being, you know, the the famines will, will bring part, uh, will bring that uh, into play as well, where people won't be able to work because there's, there's nothing they can do. They, they, that's their job and stuff. And if they also, people who ain't eating are gonna have to, you know, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna probably not gonna want to do anything, man. <laughs> they're probably gonna flip out and go against the rulers, the princes and stuff, man. <laughs> Esau is an Edomite, and if it ain't the bread of life, <laughs> he ain't eating right, eating man. right man. <laughs> I think uh, we'll we'll hold it on that. This now. is this is we we're up to verse eleven. Verse, no? Nah, verse eight. Really? Verse eight, and we need twenty five. Okay. Go down. What should we say? Go down to keep going, keep going. Right, verse nine, Isaiah nineteen, verse nine. Moreover, they that work in fine flax and they that weave networks shall be confounded. Right, verse ten. And they shall be broken in the purposes thereof. All that make sluices. I don't know what that is. What's a sluice? I don't need I don't need. Let's I don't look it up. Which verse is again? Verse 9, 10. Verse 10. Is it 19, 10? Moreover, they that work in fine flux and they that weave networks shall be confounded. Verse 10. And they shall be broken in the purposes thereof. All that make sluices and ponds for fish. Oh, there it is, Lafayette. The Bible chain is bugging me. All right, the mm. word there is shakar actually. Wages higher. It's working. Labors and stuff. Sluices. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. How do you spell that? S L U I C E. You get an item. Yep, yep. Sluice. Or oh, is it French? It is. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> sluice. C fifteen hundred earlier. Sluice. A shortening of old French. Es sluice. Sluice floodgate. Modern French. Es écluse. From Late Latin, you're the Latin scholar, so you read it for me. Latin there, exclusa mean barrier to shut out water. Interesting enough. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so you know, essentially, uh, I believe this word in Hebrew is the primary. <laughs> the word in Hebrew is the primary thing we're focusing yeah. on. The word is shakar, high is wages, so it's going to labors. But keep going, brother. All right, verse eleven. Surely the princes of, princes of Zohar are fools. The counsel of the wise counselors of Pharaoh has become brutish. Mm -hmm. How say ye unto Pharaoh, I am the son of the wise, even the son of the ancient kings. And if you just bear with me. Son of ancient kings. I'm actually going to get quite a few precepts here. 
and one of them being this, Psalm 97, in verse 7, confounded be all they that serve graven images, mm -hmm. that boast themselves of idols, worship him or ye powers. <laughs> Essentially, they're going to be confounded, and all the wise counsel of uh, of um, Egypt, of course, spiritual Egypt, the Edomite, Soko Wama, okay, he is going to be very confounded in his wisdom that he's boasted himself in the wisdom of this world and the, the wisdom that he actually does have some actual wisdom. <laughs> Let's be real, man. Yeah, him wiser than Daniel. Yeah, man. Which, which means, which means he has understanding of the prophecies that Daniel had and Daniel didn't even have that. Imagine, so Esau does know what's going on, yes, man. Yeah. You know, he knows exactly what's going on. He, 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 he knows, knows he's the on. devil, man. He knows he's Satan, man. And uh, another scripture I was going to bring up. He out. knows he was bound a thousand years. Hey, man. And will be again. Absolutely. Until he's out. He's out in that flame. Until he be taken away. Until that man has been taken out of the way. And uh, one more scripture. Uh, uh, Ezekiel chapter 32. Not one more scripture before I move on. Ezekiel 32 and 15. When I shall make the land of Egypt desolate, and the, and the con uh, country shall be destitute of that whereof it was full. See, de destitute whereof it was full because it was full of abundance of, of, of riches and of merchandise. America's known as that place, man. When you go there, you feel like you've just got everything. Everywhere I go, I've got so much. I can just live it up here. I can I can get, I can go to IHOP right there. Then I can go to White Castle there. Then I can go to Home so, Depot and build a cabin. Yeah. You know, it's just like that. And it says, um, when I shall smite all them that dwell therein, then shall they know that I am Yahweh. And that's when they're going to know. When he's, that's how his name is going to be declared on the earth when his judgment comes. And that's when the kingdom of heaven is going to be established, man. And, uh, well, I, said, I, said, I said last one before I move on. Because uh, the point you made, again, you know, if you want to, if you want to read that, actually. If you got, if you, are you on Isaiah? Yeah, yeah. If you got Isaiah 19 and, and what was it again? Verse, da, 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 what was it, man? Verse 10. 11. Verse 11. Surely the princes of Zoan It's like, it's like, and Zoan is basically, it's a, it's a land that was like, essentially like the capital of Egypt. So just talking about, Washington. A, like, great, yeah, there you are. So is that, that's the capital, isn't it? Yeah, District better, of Columbia. I hope so. Yeah, District of Columbia. <laughs> all right, Isaiah, all right. Isaiah 19 and 11. Surely the princes of Zoan are fools. The counsel of the wise counselors of Pharaoh has become brutish. Mm -hmm. How say ye unto Pharaoh, I am son of the wise, Sorry. the son of ancient kings. Right, right. And brutish means to be like like a brute, like an animal, like animalistic. They're going to be like wild beasts. They can lose their mind, man. Just like a like a like a crazy animal. They're going to be like they're going to be uh, like uncivilized in the manner. And they're already, man, they're already in a sense uncivilized. They're going to be extra uncivilized, man. And um, the scriptures that I wanted to actually bring out is like keep front of my mind. But if you can get it for me instead, actually, if you get Jeremiah chapter forty nine verse seven. If you don't I think you look that up. Where is the wise? That scripture says, "Where is the wise?" I think it's First Corinthians, but I've looked, checked one and two, and I can't see it. Okay, okay. Jeremiah, what? Uh, forty. Shoot, forty-seven. Uh, 40, oh, 49, 49, 49. That's my thing. I didn't even eat. <laughs> I obviously I heard you, but I didn't process it. All right, what? What verse? Uh, verse seven. Why do I keep doing this? Forty-nine and verse. Yeah, seven yeah, yeah. Of course, eight. of course, yeah, of course. Yeah. My God. Jeremiah forty-nine, seven and eight, concerning Edom. Right, other one. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts is wisdom, no more in Teman. Is counsel perish from the prudent? Is their wisdom vanished? See that the counsel is going to, is going to be uh, is going to be looked at as imprudent because everyone right now is like they can't see it, man. They because they they're fucking blind. They can't see that this place is falling, man. And I found it as well, perfect. All right, First Corinthians one and nineteen. It says, For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Well, yeah. Where is the disputer of this world? Hath not power made foolish the wisdom of this world? See, that's what the Most High has done. He's making the wisdom of the world foolish. Their wisdom that they've, they've declared as, as they glorify themselves in the, 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 the things that's actually of no profit, complete vanity, it's going to be declared as nothing. But right now, they, they trust wholeheartedly in this devil, man. They cannot see it that this guy is going down and that he's a devil. They can't see it because they're blind as shit, especially our people, man. Go ahead. So it's 1 Corinthians 1 and 26 on down. For you see, for you see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called, but power has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, mm -hmm. and power has chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. And those Perfect. things of the world and things which are despised hath power chosen, yea, things... And things which are not, to bring to naught things that are. 
that no flesh should glory in his presence. Yeah, man. Read the scripture, man. And that's that's right now. We're like unto those fools. <laughs> Look at these fools out there in the was it, was it, was it, was it on the was it was it was some guy was looking at you and just shaking his head. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's shaking the head like, what is, what is yeah, he doing? Say, you Does not know the Olympics is on? <laughs> <laughs> you make the byword in the shaking of the head. Yeah, man. First Corinthians 3 and 18. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the Most High. For it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And that's in uh, Book of Job, chapter 5, and uh, verse 13, I believe. So, as it reads... Um, um. Oh yeah, shoot! I've got this scripture as well. We've got notes here, so we're not gonna. It's coming. Well, it's it's probably 50 why minutes, we're taking a long time. Now. I know, yeah. It's probably why we're taking a long time, man, because we wrote too many scriptures down, and then we were saying more things than yeah, we we'll, wrote down, man. Just get. Let's get the scriptures we've got, and we'll call it there in Isaiah 19 and then we'll come, come. pick it up another day. And Admiral Ratazza, we'll, uh, we'll we'll do a part two on it, and yeah, yeah. it's really the latter part. That's, that's, that's causing our confusion. Bit, Essentially, is that's the one that everyone's like bugged out about, you know? So, uh, Obadiah verse 8. It reads, Shall I not in that day, saith Yahweh, even destroy the wise men out of Edom, and understanding it of the mount of Esau? And thy mighty men, O Teman, shall be dismayed at the uh, to the end that every one of the mount of Esau may be cut off by but slaughter. Slatter. So, you know, you already know. You already know that. <laughs> you already know what it is. You already know. If I eat so, you already know. Okay. Whether you believe or not, you already know. <laughs> you have any? I've got another. I've got to do after you. Go ahead, shout me it and I'll read it. I'm back at 2 and 5. Whew. He's a proud man. That's right. Doctor not transgressed by wine. What does Habakkuk come after? Comes after. Oh, man. Damn it. Well, I'm out here not even able to find it. So. Bear with me, Yasharala. The nation. The nation. Let me shut the front. <laughs> it's touching that. The nation. <laughs> so again, it is, there's an elect of the nation, man. And then the there's elect, an elect of the nation. This, which is the nation of Israel. And then there's the elect of the elect. Okay, Lord willing, we have that number who actually know that what's going on. Who are going to be delivered through the faith and the works, of course. Because true clarify. faith comes with works. Clarify, Habakkuk is after Nahum, right, and directly before Zephaniah. Right, so Habakkuk 2 and 5, you finish on that, the yeah, nation. Keep, yeah, keep going. Habakkuk 2 and 5, yea, also because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, mm -hmm. neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell, and is as deaf, and cannot be satisfied, but gather, gathereth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. Mm -hmm. Real quick, now it's funny. He says, Enlarge, "Enlargeth his desire as hell, and is as death." Because what are the wages of sin? Wages of sin is death. So what are the um? What was the new word we've got? Solus? No. It was. <laughs> so I went to say. I went to say solutions. Look at it real quick. <laughs> uh, slu what, So what are the sluices of the man of sin? Death. Yeah, man. We'll go here, brother. Uh, and of course, you know the wine. The wine symbolizes that doctrine. Okay, so Isaiah 29 and 9, Stay yourselves and wonder, cry ye out and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. <laughs> they stagger, but not with strong <laughs> drink. It's like there's, there's certain individuals you meet in the world that they're, they're so crazy, and that, that was exactly what we need to bring out. They're so goddamn bugged out. You just think, you, you can go up to me and say, Brother, are you drunk? <laughs> because their mind ain't right. They're not literally drunk. They're drunk on philosophy, man. It's like when uh, the book. Right, so lucky, it's lucky. Well, the storage went full. I'm not even sure why I stopped that, but I'll just start essentially again. So the wine symbolizes that doctrine. So you're gonna go Isaiah 19 and one. Okay. <laughs> the, 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 you know, the, the wine is is a doctrine that they they consume. They can they consume that 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 wine that is not the wine of righteousness, not the one the wine that the, the elect will rejoice in. Okay, it's it's a doctrine, the philosophies that's getting people drunk. Okay, spiritually, okay, spiritually drunk. And you, you see people, um, you see people t the, in in this world right now. They're like it's like they're drunk, man. <laughs> it's like they're drunk, but they're not. And last scripture before we close out. Last scripture before we close out. Revelation seventeen one and two. And there came one of the se the seven angels which had the seven vials and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will shew unto thee the judgment of the great hall that sitteth upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication. 
and the inhabitants of the earth will be made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Come. So we shall close out there. I pray it was edifying. On to the next one, Lord William, of course. Double honour to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, impeccably well, and labour in the word and doctrine. And shalom in peace may that be unto the elect. Giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rocha, Kudash. Shalom. Mawa